I actually bash a boy in the school in, in Lebanon. <laughs> Boxing gives me an excuse not to be normal. I have to have this lifestyle in order to be a boxer. Don't you know who I am? I know I can be number one in the world. 100% know I can do that. Because she's so headstrong, if she doesn't think something's right for her, she won't do it. It's out of what, knocking on my door every day, draining me of energy. And all of a sudden, she's got four kilos to lose. You can't do that and perform at your optimal level. They, they come out, and I'm not kidding you, they come out at 11 o'clock at night. She trains her house down, her training professional rise spot on. Okay. The life starts done. You're out till four in the morning. What are you actually sacrificing? There's one time to pat on my face, not smash it, pat. I don't know what exactly they want from a person other than to be able to box really well. This is really controversial, Australian sports are fairly conservative world. And I think that it probably has been a problem. I can stand in front of anyone and go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. The whole room went into a gasp. Everybody knew she won, except for the three people around the ring. I'm very isolated and I got very afraid of that loneliness. Why does she get robbed of decisions that matter? And why does she win fights that don't matter really in the long run? We could probably have done a lot more, because um, what we did was probably the bare minimum. Losing is so... Um, lonely. So know that that is what's required to get to complete excellence. Disappointment doesn't scare me. Like losing something doesn't scare me anymore. I've lost things in the past. The less that you're scared of it, the more you can just embrace it and go, it's a part of life and there's nothing I can do about it. <sighs>